What is up, Healthy Sense? I am Kylie Kowodiju Kuwane, your registered dietitian nutritionist. I hope that you and your health are doing well despite the pandemic. Are you longing for a glow up and having your self care boosted in this time of pandemic? Don't worry, I got you. In this video, I will be sharing some tips in order for you to not only have a physical glow up, but also a healthy glow up. Oops, hold on. Do not fear the word healthy. Always remember that healthy is beautiful, that health care is self care. So, why not have both healthy and glow up made possible? Hand in hand, let us find out what to do in order to have a healthy glow up. During this time of pandemic, we are told to stay at home. Home is where we usually find our comfort. We tend to have all the luxury ones we stay at home, including binge eating while watching your favorite series. But, did you know that continuing to live in a bad habit may cause your health to be at risk? The pandemic is not and will never be an excuse to live a life that is out of the healthy path. So, I have prepared 7 tips in order for you to get back on track and protect your health. So, as your RDN, my first tip is to eat healthy and regular. Achieving a healthy and a fit body is not about a single meal. It's about making a well-balanced diet selection over time that will make a difference. Our body requires more than 40 distinct nutrients for good health, and no single diet can provide them all. So, I suggest you to eat a variety of foods. Eating a variety of foods does not mean to eat a variety of food in a single sitting. What is meant by this is to eat a variety of foods in different meals or meal times. For instance, you can eat cereal or cornflakes for breakfast and a different meal for lunch or dinner. If you did not know, the benefits of eating nutritious cereal for breakfast go beyond staying full and avoiding obesity. Fiber-rich cereals such as oatmeal may encourage good gastrointestinal health and decrease the risk of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and colon cancer. You'll get even more fiber per serving by eating cereal with berries, and you can boost the protein and calcium content of your milk by adding low-fat or non-fat milk or yogurt. Moving on to lunch time and dinner time, you can supply yourself by eating a healthy and filling meal such as meat with vegetables and soup. Meat and poultry are great sources of protein. They also provide lots of other nutrients your body needs like iodine, iron, zinc, vitamins, and essential fatty acids. So, it's a good idea to eat meat and poultry every week as part of your balanced diet. And of course, we all know that vegetables are healthy. A diet rich in vegetables and fruits can lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke, prevent some types of cancer, lower the risk of eye and digestive problems, and have a positive effect upon blood sugar, which can help keep appetite in check. Do not forget to also eat fruits. Fruits are rich in vitamins such as the vitamin C, which will keep your body healthy, especially in this time of pandemic. Also, I suggest you to limit consumption of unhealthy foods and choose to eat healthy meals. In this time of pandemic, we are often tempted by the social media platforms to satisfy our cravings by buying delivery foods such as fast food. Fast food and junk foods are typically loaded with calories, sodium, and unhealthy fat. These highly processed foods are heavy in calories, particularly in the form of fat and sugar, but low in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. It is also undeniable that we find luxury, convenience, and satisfaction by eating junk foods. But, this must be avoided or taken in moderation. Now, let us move on to the tip number two. So, my second tip is to engage in physical activities, exercise, and be active. In this time of pandemic, facilities where you can work out or exercise are often unavailable. But, that does not mean that you are stopped from being physically active. There are so many physical activities that you can do at home. You can walk or jog. 
walking or jogging for at least 30 minutes or longer makes a whole lot of difference. Studies have shown that regular walking and running can help prevent obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and some kinds of cancer. Aside from walking, you can also try out Zumba and home workout. There are tons of videos that can be found on every social media platform that can serve as a guide. What are you waiting for? Get up, keep your body moving, and shake off all of the unhealthy toxins. Moving on, let us proceed to the third tip. The third tip is to consume alcoholic drinks in moderation and avoid smoking. I am not exactly stopping you from consuming alcoholic beverages, but I suggest you put things in moderation as a same saying said, ang sobra ay nakakasama. Alcohol consumption must be done in moderation, and smoking must be put to an end, especially that we are now in the midst of a pandemic. Alcohol and tobacco are both not healthy, nor will help your health to be at its best. In fact, it may add up to certain risks such as putting your heart and lungs at risk. If you do any of these actions, please do consider cutting back or quitting to help reduce your risk for chronic diseases. Tip number four, get enough sleep. Now that our health is at risk, especially during this time of pandemic, we must have our immunity at its best condition. One way to have our immunity to be at its best is to have a healthy amount of sleep. Sleep is a necessary function that helps your body and mind to replenish, allowing you to wake up feeling refreshed and alert. Healthy sleep also aids in the body's wellness and illness prevention. Did you know that as you become more tired throughout the day, your adenosine levels rise and your body then breaks down this complex while you sleep? Adenosine is an organic substance produced in the brain and may be associated with sleep drive, also known as a sleep-wake homeostasis. Sleep plays an important role in your physical health. For example, sleep is involved in healing and repair of your heart and blood vessels. Sleep deficiency is linked to an increased risk of heart and kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and stroke. Sleep also affects how your body reacts to insulin, the hormone that controls your blood glucose level. Sleep deficiency results in a higher than normal blood sugar level, which may increase your risk for diabetes. Always remember, your immune system relies on sleep to stay healthy as this system defends your body against foreign or harmful substances. Tip number five, stay hydrated. As your RDN, I am encouraging you to choose drinking water over sugary drinks. Did you know that water boosts energy, helps weight loss, aids in digestion, hydrates skin, detoxifies, and delivers important nutrients to all of our cells? Water allows the body to absorb and assimilate minerals, vitamins, amino acids, glucose, and other substances. It also flushes out toxins and waste. Water also helps to regulate body temperature and is essential for disease prevention, which is highly essential, especially in this time of pandemic. So always remember to hashtag stay hydrated. Tip number six, take your vitamins. Aside from eating healthy foods and having a balanced diet, taking vitamins is also a must especially in this time of pandemic, since our health and immunity is at risk. Taking vitamins support immunity, as the immune system relies on what you put in your body, and certain nutrients are known for their immune-supporting benefits. Vitamin C is regarded as one of the most powerful immunity boosters. Taking vitamins also support metabolism. Vitamins B6 and B12 are B complex vitamins that work with other enzymes in your body to digest energy from protein, lipids, and carbs. Vitamins also have an effect on our bones, making it stronger. With that said, vitamins aid and feed the way for a healthy body as it fills us with nutritious supplements our body needs aside from eating healthy food. Moving on, my last tip is repeat all six tips and make it a habit. If you want to be healthy, 
fit and safe from the risk of this pandemic, you must always be consistent on having a healthy lifestyle and diet. Being consistent is difficult, but with will and motivation, nothing is impossible. Encourage yourself to live a healthy lifestyle, as this is what is the best for you. Healthy lifestyle must be chosen and put into action with or without this pandemic. As your registered dietitian, nutritionist, or RDN, I am encouraging you to maintain a healthy lifestyle by doing what is right for your body. Now, it is your time to make a choice. Would you rather be weak and continue living your life surrounded by risk under an unhealthy lifestyle? Or would you rather be a fighter and choose to be protected from all the possible risks by living a healthy life? As your RDN, I encourage you to choose the latter one. And that's a wrap. That ends our hashtag health talk. I hope that I paved the way for you to have a healthy lifestyle and I hope that I saved a life. Always remember to do what is right for your health and body. Your health is your greatest asset. Never forget that healthy is beautiful, healthcare is self-care, and a healthy lifestyle begins as you make a choice. Thank you for watching my dearest Healthy Sense. Please stay safe and stay healthy.